Hey everybody, Kaylin McBee here with Healthy Living with Kaylin McBee and McBee Well. This morning my alarm went off and usually my routine is to get up and do a good solid workout, get in a good breakfast, maybe a veggie smoothie or protein shake or a frittata, and then get anything done around the house that I need to do before I go to work. So my day doesn't usually start until about 10 o'clock in the morning for my massage clients. And that's an opportunity for me to get a lot of things done in the morning before I go because I work a little bit later than most. And when my alarm went off this morning, I was lying in bed and I really took an inventory of how I was feeling physically, mentally, and I made a decision to turn the alarm off and to get back to sleep. So that meant I missed my workout. That meant I missed doing a couple of things that I really probably should have done before work today. And when I got out of bed and was getting ready for my day, I was starting to feel a little bit badly about that. And then I really took some time to think about what I was actually doing. And when I really thought about it, this was the right thing for me to do today. So I wanted to just share with you that when our lives run at a pace of 100 miles an hour and we've got meetings and work and children's activities and family things and errands that have to get done and chores around the house, sometimes you just have to put the time out on or sometimes you just have to pull up that emergency break. And so if that means for you, refilling your bucket in any way, maybe doing a really nice meditation. For some people, maybe that's just going on a walk by yourself. For others, it might be canceling your workout completely and just getting an extra 40 minutes of sleep. Maybe that's what will make you feel good. Or finally, maybe it's asking for help meaning that maybe there's a chore that you do all the time around the house and you just don't have it in you to do it, ask your partner or ask your kids, or maybe it's okay to let it wait for another day. So taking that mental and physical inventory of what's going on with you is what I wanted to share and talk about today with healthy living, because it's not always just about eating well or making great decisions all the time. It's also about listening to what your needs are. So I hope that that was helpful for you and maybe a little bit inspirational for you to slow down a little bit. This is Kaylin McBee with Healthy Living with Kaylin McBee and McBee Well.